The transmission has resumed. Hi. Well, the trial is already well underway. Gerbo himself is about to take the stand, in fact. Let's watch. Mr. Rofu, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so I'll help you God? No. Pfft. Hello, Mr. Rofu. Hello. Are you the court jester? Very endearing. Let's begin by taking a look at this security cam tape, filmed the morning of the murder in a local arms shop. Hey! Would you hurry the up? I'm turning into Rip Van Winkle back here! If you don't hurry up, I'm gonna rip your off and force feed it to your mother! You speak of the illustrious Zerbo's mother. Zerbo! Zerbo must go now. Monsieur, please deliver the weapon we spoke of to my palace. Zerbo need it now more than ever. Mr. Rofu, are you aware that the expensive and obsolete gun you so hastily bought that morning was the same type of rare firearm used to brutally murder Bloody Dove mere hours later? I do not care. I only care that your cologne makes you smell like a bargain basement gigolo. Mr. Rofu, you certainly seem quite upset with Mr. Dove during the encounter in question. Perhaps even so upset after he insulted your dearest mother that you'd be willing to murder him? Ah, oui! This is true! I was upset enough to murder the pig, but unfortunately, I did not. Then what was your reason, a fashion designer, for purchasing this deadly weapon? I intended to melt it and mold it into a work of art that portrays my disgust with the modern world. And where is this alleged sculpture? It did not turn out to Zerbo's satisfaction. I cast it in repulsion into the mouth of a volcano. Mr. Rofu, you and I both know that any piece of art you create, good or bad, is worth literally millions of credits. Are you trying to tell us that you threw it into a volcano? Oui, that is the way of every true artist. The volcano is the final resting place of all failed art. Ask Da Vinci, ask DiCaprio, ask the Serbo. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, sound ridiculous? You decide. Mr. Rufu, as you insisted on representing yourself, do you have anything you'd like to add, or at this time, anyone you'd like to call in your defense? Yes, we. Oui. To the defense of Zerbo, I would like to call the most cherished and famous movie star in all the world, Dirk Ruddy. <laughs> Okay, that's really bad. Um, for those of you who have been living under a rock, Dirk Ruddy ha had an unprecedented fall from grace a few weeks back. Under Apex's control, he was forced to tell the world all kinds of horrible and false things about himself. Now his name is, is basically equivalent to evil. I guess Gerbo didn't know, being in, in jail and all. In fact, Dirk came to me for help after the whole incident, and while I wasn't willing to tell the world about Apex and set off a panic, I did send Dirk into a brand new virtual world where, hopefully, he can start a second life. I hope he's okay. This stinks. I'm lost. My, my, you seem to be in dire straits, Dirk. You're blue. Quite the observant young man, aren't you? Why are you blue? It's a ghastly long story. Do you truly wish to hear it? Is it about me? No, lad. My life story is not about you. Then no. Well, I shall tell it to you anyway. It is critical to the future. Come. I was born Sir Wilhelm Hartburn Hanston III, but I am now known as Sir Blue. Dirk, please pay attention, my boy. I grew up in the glory days of British theatre, a peer of the many great sirs. Sir Laurence Olivier, Sir Alec Guinness, Sir Anthony Hopkins, Sir Ian McKellen. Who are they? <sighs> Never mind that. At any rate, it was only a matter of time until destiny brought me to the pinnacle of theatrical glory. 
The call finally came when I was asked to play the great American superhero, the Incredible Hulk. I was both humbled and delighted. I immediately undertook the task of preparing for the role, both emotionally and physically. On the former, I engaged in long periods of deep hypnosis, searching out my innermost rage and childlike anger. On the latter, I began an intense training regimen, adding over 200 pounds of solid muscle to my then wiry frame. As a finishing touch, I underwent a horribly expensive and irreversible surgical procedure to turn my skin blue. But the Hulk's green! <laughs> oh dear boy, nothing escapes you, does it? My career was quite finished. That brings us to the present, or more importantly, to our future. Our? Why, yes. You see, working together, you and I shall make a movie here in this world of second life to re-spark our failed careers. But the public hates me. They think I play with dollies. Oh, Dirk, haven't you learned the rule? One successful film, my boy. That's all it takes to make them forget. The problem is finding the means to make it. But here it'll be quite inexpensive. We can make it ourselves. Hey! You're flying! You can too, my boy. Catch me if you can. <laughs> Whoa! Cool! My sentiments exactly. And that's only the beginning. Hey, what are you doing? I'm making a cube. Do have a seat. This place has got it going on. Indeed. Matter creation, quite possible here. Now, imagine extravagant and breathtaking sets constructed in the same manner. That's crazy! Using your soon-to-be-restored name and my genius, we shall embark upon a journey like no other. We shall create the greatest film ever made. And together, Dirk Ruddy and Sir Wilhelm Haltburn Hanson III shall rise again. What say you, Dirk? You're the shizm shazm. Bring it on. Dave, your specialist has begun his analysis. Oh, great. Hi, the trial's been on hold for a few minutes as we've arranged for Rick, Portal's spiritual advisor, to speak on Jerbo's behalf. He's patched in from EverQuest. Let's cross our fingers and listen in. I checked out his soul. He didn't do it, man. And where is your proof on this? Oh, I can just tell. I can see the truth, man. You can too. All you gotta do is use your mind like a prism, brother. You gotta converge the light rays of the senses into a single beam of luminance, man. Then you gotta shine it out through your mouth and beam it onto the world. I speak the truth. I speak the truth, man. You dig it? Get that thing off of the view screen. You see? Innocent. 